many compounds of phosphorus. Let's take a look at them. First, we will talk about phosphorus pentoxide. Phosphorus pentoxide is a chemical compound with the formula P2O5. Phosphorus pentoxide is prepared by phosphorus reacting with excess oxygen. The crude is then purified by sublimation. Phosphorus pentoxide reacts with hot water to produce phosphoric acid. Phosphorus pentoxide dissolves in cold water to produce metaphosphoric acid. Let's take a look at how phosphoric acid is formed with phosphorus pentoxide experimentally. Place a china dish with hot water in a glass jar. Through the spatula, introduce some phosphorus inside the jar. You will notice white fumes. This is due to the phosphorus burning in oxygen. The white fumes observed are of phosphorus pentoxide. The fumes dissolve in water forming phosphoric acid. Phosphorus pentoxide is used as a strong dehydrating agent capable even of dehydrating concentrated sulfuric acid into sulfur trioxide. It dehydrates amides into nitrites. Phosphorus pentoxide is used as a drying agent for materials with which it does not react. Phosphorus pentoxide is used for the formation of phosphoric acid. Let us now talk about phosphoric acid. We can even call phosphoric acid as orthophosphoric acid. The formula of phosphoric acid is H3PO4. We know that phosphoric acid is manufactured by dissolving phosphorus pentoxide in hot water. Phosphoric acid is also formed by the action of calcium phosphate on concentrated sulfuric acid thus forming calcium sulfate. The insoluble calcium sulfate is filtered off and the solution is evaporated at 140 degrees Celsius to get crystals of phosphoric acid. Heating red phosphorus with nitric acid in the ratio of 1 is to 1 forms phosphoric acid. From the structure of phosphoric acid, we can see that it contains three replaceable hydrogen atoms. So, it reacts with three molecules of sodium hydroxide giving three different phosphates namely sodium dihydrogen phosphate, disodium dihydrogen phosphate and sodium phosphate. Phosphoric acid is mainly used in the pharmaceutical industry. Phosphoric acid is used in the manufacture of phosphates and phosphatic manures. Let's take a look at the superphosphate of lime. Powdered phosphorite, which is commonly called as bone ash, when treated with concentrated sulfuric acid forms calcium superphosphate or we can say superphosphate of lime. Well, calcium superphosphate is used as the phosphatic fertilizer. So today we have learnt about phosphorus and its compounds and what else did we learn? Let's quickly recap. We learnt about the physical and chemical properties of phosphorus. We also looked at the uses of phosphorus. Then we moved on to the different allotropic forms of phosphorus, the compounds of phosphorus and then we also looked at phosphoric acid. Children, thank you for joining me. Till we meet again, bye!